Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke here. Uh, this is sort of a new series where you guys suggest videos and I try to do it in two to three minutes, my opinions on it. Um, I was recently asked by at Fat Boy Fever, you might know him as James, he appears on the show quite a lot. Um, he asked, if Mikel Antonio is to go on and break that 47 goals that Paolo Di Canio scored, do we consider him a legend or do I consider him a legend? It was a good question um, and we had a little debate about it, but I, I wanted to do, I've had a little bit more time to think um, about it. Um, let me put some context on it. So Paolo Di Canio for me anyway, obviously this is the man he will overtake. Paolo's God to me, you know, um, he he was my favourite season ticket year, you know, buying that last season at Upton Park. Paolo gave me some amazing moments, Old Trafford, um, the scissor kick, the Bradford game, just unbelievable moments. And as a player, for me, there's been no better, you know, Pyatt was fantastic that year, but Paolo got West Ham, he loves the fans, he's got a tattoo there, hasn't he, Paolo? I've watched every documentary about him. I watch his goals all the time. Um, but yeah, he is our record goal scorer in the Premier League, Paolo. Obviously, you've got Vic Watson, Tony Cotty, you know, in the old leagues and stuff like that. that records that probably never, ever get broken. But um, yeah, if Mickey does go on and do it, which I believe he will do, maybe not this season, maybe, maybe seven goals is a bit too much. Um, but I, he will definitely do it towards the start of next season if he doesn't do it this season. I, I, I think, yeah, you've got to start putting him in the conversation of, you know, that legend status or hero status. Um, he's got moments. Uh, he's had some moments, you know. The last ever West Ham Tottenham game, he scored the winner uh, when he did the Homer Simpson one. Um which, you know, that game, I actually felt sick that game of the nerves that I didn't want Tottenham to beat us. Um, he scored in that last game at Upton Park. Um, you know, he scored the header, didn't he? He scored it in the Bournemouth game, our first Premier League game at the London Stadium. Um, he's the first West Ham player to score four goals in the Premier League. I know Jeff Hurst did it in, um, you know, the old divisions, but... First, and there's no mean feat to score four Premier League goals, whoever you're playing against, um, because there's not many that's done it. Um, unbelievable. I think, yeah, um, you know, you, we can. You, you've got to look at it in a different context to just ability as a player. You know, if we're comparing Paolo Di Canio and Mikel Antonio skill and ability wise, there's no competition. Paolo Di Canio wins hands down every time, but. In terms of his work ethic, um, his goals and the importance of them goals, the fact that he's played right midfield, he's played right back, he's played right wing back, and now he's adapted into a striker, that shows me, you know, it, it, in terms of player adaptability, then you've got an argument that maybe he's better than Paolo because would you, could you imagine Paolo Di Canio playing right back? Or could you imagine Paolo Di Canio playing, you know, as a as a right winger? You can't see it, can you? Like Paolo was his set, set play. The fact that Antonio's done a good job in all those positions, right midfield, right back, right wing back and striker, and he's got he's going to probably go on and break Paolo Di Canio's record. I think we have to put him up there. You know, he scored some... Again, I'm I'm going over more goals because more are coming to me now. The Tottenham goal at their stadium, what a moment that was! Um, just yeah, I think for me, yeah. At, at first, when he first asked me, I was like, nah, you know, you know, because again, my brain was thinking ability, you know, skill and ability wise, but actually about the moments and probably if I was. 15 now, for example, that's when I see Paolo Di Canio play. If I was 15 now, and I'd, I'd be very interested to know, you know, kids around the age now, so, you know, that 15 to 21 mark, who who is their main guy now? You know, is it Antonio? You know, and that's where, when we're having this conversation in 20 years' time, like it is since Paolo played for West Ham, I think Antonio will be in that conversation as a West Ham legend. But let me know what you guys think. If you think if you wanted me to do any more players like this, are they a legend? Let me know. Um, I'd love to just give my opinion. It is only an opinion, guys. Please don't shoot me down. It's my opinion. Um, give me your opinion. 
and any new video ideas you want me to do, please let me do it, because I'm gonna try and do a video, like I say, three to four times a week, because the subscribers are starting to go up, the likes and comments are starting to go up, so I, I reward it back to you with more comments, you know, because it's going down well, so let's keep it going, yeah? Anyway, guys, please like the video, share with your friends if you haven't already, um, comment your lines, subscribe if you haven't, let's go.